Okay, I'm Ed. This is my son, Zach. We're the Canadian guys trying weird beers. And today, I was talking to a friend of mine who, who joined uh, Weight Watchers for the first time. Good for them, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I told them, you know what they say about, about the first day of Weight Watchers? You're just finding your feet. <laughs> oh, boy. Anywho. Okay. So, um... We got beers. Why? Because beeriness is cheeriness and we're here when you don't want an expert opinion. And if you haven't figured it out by now, that's exactly what you're going to get from us. So, we're going to get into the beers very shortly. But before we do, palate cleanser! Oh, jeez. <laughs> I, I thought something was happening. Yeah, the palate cleanser. There, there, there's, there's such a different intensity to it. I thought that there was some announcement. Like... Like, intensity without density. Uh, for me, it's it, it's it's the other way around. <laughs> density without intensity. Yeah. Well, here we go. In for a penny, in for a persimmon. <sighs> now that we got that out of the way, yeah. we got beers. You're gonna go first. Yep. Uh, first, we have from from Cool Beer Brewing, I think, because they they do not have like any kind of like logo or symbol. It's just like the the like copyright on the side. It is. It's called Saint Andre. It's a lager in the Bohemian style, specialty malts, premium hops. Since 1842. Wow, that's a while. Uh, Saint Andre is brewed in small batches using specialty malts and low bitterness hops to deliver a smooth, easy drinking Bohemian style lager. Hooray! Um, it is 4.6 percent, and uh, its color is uh, there, and its hop level is there, and yeah, there you go. It's, it's all there for you. I don't have to do the work. No, St. Andre is the patron saint of loose-fitting shoes. Because hey, look, I didn't, I didn't make him a saint. <laughs> if you got issues with that, take it up with the Catholic Church. Anyway. <laughs> loose-fitting shoes. <laughs> he liked, he liked, uh, he liked to be comfy. Yeah, so we, 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 we could probably expect like a, like something, something nice and light from that. I hope. I hope so. St. Andre, big friend of loose fitting shoes and boxer shorts. Keeping things cool and airy. Hey, okay, so the next beer that we've got on the docket is from Nickelbrook Brewing Company. We know them. Yep, we've had their beers before. It's called Party Dad and it's a crushing IPA. Again, with all the crushing. Very violent. 3.5% alcohol by volume. That's oh, it? Like, that's. Oh, really? Do we look like school children? That's a that's a breakfast brew. My good. Well, it does say it's a light beer. It says Citrus Cruiser Finger Guns. Color 5 a.m. sunrise. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Do, do party dads do finger guns? I think dads in general just do finger guns. Hey, kids, let me get you some non-alcoholic punch. I don't know. That sounds like a party dad to me. Isn't that just fruit juice? Are you going to argue with the party dad? No, sir. Well, there you go. So, hey, there, there's a pair of sneakers there with the uh, weird logo. Crush, oh, crush cans. I don't know. Are these, uh, so is this associated with St. Andre, the patron saint of loose fitting shoes? I don't know. <laughs> it, it's a collab. <laughs> So there we go. We got the the two beers. What do you want to go with first? Um, I guess we could uh, party that. <laughs> I was gonna say that we, we we could forego tradition and, and start with the Saint Andre, but yeah, uh, I suppose we can start with the party dad. <laughs> I, I just uh, I just realized I um, that the logo for Nickelbrook 
It's a nucleus with a bunch of hops floating around it. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. I think we're delving way too, too much into the science of this. So we're going to start with Party Dad. He's not very cool, but he lets you hang around at Party Dad. Hey, you kids. Get into the basement and have fun. But not too much fun. Party Dad. All, all good parties start, start with, <laughs> with an older father figure telling you to get in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> Get in the basement. Don't mind the whips and chains. Those are your mothers. This is a very uh, pale ale. Wow. Yeah, that's... Ooh. That, is a, that is a crushing IPA smell. Yeah, that's an IPA smell, all right. You can, you can really smell the, the, the condensed IPA from all the crushing. You know, because that's what you do. You're crushing the IPA. I don't know. I, I, I don't like that use of the term crushing. And they don't even use... They drop the G because, you know... Oh, my God. Because it's I, a cool party, Dad. Another another letter that I have to pronounce. Oh, my God. Well, I'm going to have a stroke. In, in, in lieu of pronouncing the, the, the letter, they're pronouncing the apostrophe. How do you pronounce an apostrophe? Like crushing. Crushing. That's the sound of the apostrophe. Yeah, that that's what party dads do. They they go full apostrophe. Crushing IPA. Okay, now that we know. Okay, I, well, I mean, we might as well just drink it. Yeah. <sighs> it's an IPA. Mm. I can't believe this is three point five. Hold on, though. Cause it's got some of that 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 like IPA like bitter sharpness at the front, but there's not a lot of aftertaste. I don't know. It it's like the Pepsi of IPA. Not a lot of flavor. I don't know. I find it bitter. I find it just another IPA. Just another IPA. It's it's close. It's not chasing my blues away. It. Compounding them, crushing them, if you will. <coughs> crushing. <laughs> you gotta brush up on your on your English to party dad link uh, dictionary. I think I'm a very good party dad. Actually, I don't know if I am a party dad. I don't know. I've never, I've never overseen a party. You don't like to party. What? Only like it's 1999. <laughs> I like a party. Kinda, sorta. No, no, no. You, you like a party. You don't like to party. <laughs> what? Look! Look at this and me party. <laughs> Woohoo! I've got the crushing IPA and I'm partying. Oh, there's egg on my face. I stand corrected. <laughs> See, party dad, right here. Look at the shirt. The shirt says, "I'm a party kind of guy." Better a second time around. Taste it again. Taste your partner. Taste the gentleman across the hall. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> what kind of party is that? I don't want to be the party at to that party. Or do I? <laughs> that sounds like an orgy, eh? I don't think I know anybody that's been to an orgy. Yeah, neither do I. Now, granted, I've never asked. Yeah, it's not something you ask your friends. Hey, you ever been to an orgy? You can ask anybody. They just... Uh, randomly on the street? Sure. Hey, I'm... Grandma, you ever been to an orgy? Have you been to an orgy? Let us know in the comments. And, uh, yeah, leave a comment down below and uh, like and subscribe. And ring the bell and tell your friends and other things. It'll cause our channel to grow, grow, grow. All, all those and instructions... we be crushing. Yeah. All, all those instructions also apply to orgies. What, uh, is it when you ring the bell, you change partners or something? No, you're slapping nuts. What? Who's slapping nuts? People that are ringing the bell. Is is, is it what is the uh, is the bell a euphemism for your testicles? Yeah, gong. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that's the noise my testicles make if you smack them. Gong. <laughs> okay, now we're just being stupid. <laughs>
Unlike before. Need now. We were, we, were, we were being both offensive and stupid. Anyway, okay, so I, I've tasted enough of this. Enough of this. I think we should do the thing. Because I'm a party dad and I'm crushing pah, the beer. It's a Garino time. You know what? That wasn't a bad chug. It wasn't the worst chug, although it was a bit, you know, the, the bitter IP flavor was there, but it Th dissipated rather quickly. Okay, uh, now that we got the, that uh, beer out of the way, paddle plunger! Man, you're way ahead of me. I'm on top of my game. And I'm slightly below my game. In fact, I'm beneath the balcony of my game. I'm like Cyrano in the bushes. Here we go. Okay, so now we're doing uh, Saint Andre. Saint Andre, give me that. The patron saint of comfy shoes. Are those big shoes? Loose no, comfy shoes. Loose shoes. Loose fitting shoes and comfy boxers. Okay, so uh, we're back to uh, the Saint Andre beer. Hmm. It smells a little roasty. Oh, it does. I mean, I have to take a really big, deep breath, and it gets me lightheaded, but I can smell it. Um, water, <laughs> malted barley, sugars, hops, yeast, and contains barley. Yeah. Well, okay. there you go. All the usual suspects. So, uh, this is, expect this to be a little bit sweeter than your traditional beer. Well, it is, what is it? It's a lager, right? Yeah. It's a bohemian lager. Bohemian lager. Lager in the bohemian style. Which means it wanders around and doesn't have a job. You know those bohemians? Folly follows the Grateful Dead around. So, you, sell, you think it smells smoky? I think it kind of, well, sort of, maybe. Not, not smoky, toasty. Like, like they toasted the... The grains before they they used them. So toasty grains. I guess yeah. we should just taste it. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's a very clean tasting beer. It it's it's sugary, but not in like a sweet way. I like it. I like this kind of beer. I like lagers. Yeah, it's all right. Lagers are probably my favorite type of beer. It's one of those beers. If someone was like, hey, uh, can I get you a beer? And they didn't ask me uh, w what I wanted and they just brought this to me. I'd be like, this is awesome. Thank you. Because that's what you do. Because it's courteous and polite. Always be polite, folks. Um, you know what? I think St. Andre is the patron saint of clean tasting lagers. As well as being the patron saint of loose fitting shoes and easy breezy boxers. So there you go. So I guess uh, we gotta do the thing. It's a Garino time. Whoa. That chug's okay. Yeah, the chug's just fine. It's a fine chugging beer. Now um, it's time for the schmutz. I'm wearing the hat on the Beer Explorer, and that's why I drink the schmutz. For you, our fan, you know who you are. Hat! Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. What if you did that and like a rat just came out? I'd ask for uh, a free beer from our friends at Nickelbrook, that's for sure. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Da -da. I was providing my own dramatic music to the pouring of the schmutz. Ten out of ten. Schmutz. I'm going to drink the schmutz, because I'm the beer explorer. I'm doing it for you, for you. Look at him go. 
I'm, I'm going to guess that St. Andre, Andre is not a party dad. No, no. The question, eh, IPA, pretty much uh, crushed uh, St. Andre. Poor St. Andre, crushed by the weight of the party dad. Anywho, okay, so uh, we got that out of the way. So um, the movie roundup review comparison thing that you do, what do you say, what do you do, how do you know, who do you spank? My thought about these is, these could have been a lot worse. These could have gone south in a very bad way, but they didn't. They were actually pretty, pretty, pretty decent. And I feel like that because there was a lower expectation of just, not, not like afraid of them being just awful, but just like nervous that they weren't going to be very good, I think that makes them even better than they actually are. So, that's why these get a Sonic the Hedgehog 2 out of 10. <laughs> so, because they exceeded your very low expectations, <laughs> they're okay. And they get Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Was there anybody in that movie? Yeah. Ben Schwartz. Uh, did Ben Schwartz play himself or did he play somebody? He played Sonic. Really? Yeah. Uh, Jim Carrey played uh, Dr. Robotnik. Robotnik? Yep. What kind of name is that? Uh, it's, it's a name you give to a man who is a who is a doctor and makes robots. Oh, did he make robots? Yeah. Oh. A lot of robots. Oh, okay. Then I guess, uh, you know, with a name like Robotnik, what are you going to do? Uh, fun fact. Not sell shoes to St. Andre. Uh, fun fact. Uh, originally, he was called Dr. Eggman. Dr. Eggman? Yeah. Be Wait, did, did he think Sonic was a walrus? No, he was shaped like an egg. Shut up. Really? Yeah. So the guy, the villain was shaped like an egg and they called him Dr. Eggman. Yep. A little too on the nose if you ask me. So Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Yep. I didn't see that, but I'm sure it wasn't very good. No, it was good. <laughs> okay. The I movie. don't get it. It sounds like a lot of drugs were taken for this movie. There you go. Sonic Hedgehog the 2 out of 10. Out of 10. Ta da! Based on a game, right? Yes. <laughs> Never played the game either. Okay. Okay, the producer's getting exasperated with us. No. Well, with me. <laughs> that's what with him. But with me. Like, but that's, been, that's the way he's been for like uh, 30, 30 odd years. Foolishness, exasperation. Okay. So I guess we're done, right? <laughs> Yeah. We haven't really talked about anything, but hey, par for the course, I guess. Yeah, we were talking about Sonic. Then again, I don't know why. I don't like Sonic. I've never met him, but I don't like him. Uh, <laughs> never had their burgers or shakes. He owns a restaurant franchise? Yeah. Sonic, yeah. It, it, it's uh, f famous for being a drive through because he's so fast. Wow, that is one industrious hedgehog. Yeah. Good for you, Sonic. Now we're now we're really done. <laughs> so, whew. Okay, I'm it. This is my son Zach. We're taking you guys trying weird beers. Well, I don't know. I did. Uh, I don't know. That was like uh, cotton candy, a cotton candy episode. Sweet and delicious. Or a little bit of moisture, and it dissolves into nothing.